The problem that we're addressing with the concept of infinite banking or becoming your own banker is that you finance everything in life. Now, I think Nelson Nash was incredibly brilliant when he discovered this and, and brought this to people's attention. And I'm convinced that this problem keeps more people from reaching their maximum potential financially in life than just about anything else. Now, what does he mean by you finance everything in life? What he means is, with every transaction, you either borrow money and pay interest, or you save up and use your own money and give up interest that you could have earned. And the issue here is that all these items are financed by someone else's banking organization. So what he means by that is you're either gonna borrow money and pay up interest, or you're gonna save up money and give up interest. Either way, the money's transferred away from you. Banking is about controlling that flow of money and keeping that interest on your side of the equation. Now let's take a look at this. The person that's going to go out and finance usually has no savings. They're not using, earning any interest and they always pay interest to someone else. So they're going to borrow from a lender, usually at high interest rates, and using their future earning potential as collateral. So let's assume this line represents zero dollars and we're gonna go buy vehicles. So the person that finances goes into some debt and they start paying back that loan to the financial institution and with some interest. And then once it's paid off, they trade the car in or they sell it and they go get a new loan and they repeat this process. And if you can continually do this for vehicles in your lifetime, you will be doing all the work, paying all the interest and and capital up front, but having nothing to show for it. So what do we do? We get smart and we pay cash. Now, this was me prior to learning the rule of the money game that you never want to interrupt the compounding growth of your money. And so what would I do? I would save up my money. I earned a little bit of interest in a savings account and then I'd pay cash for things. So essentially what you're doing is you're borrowing from yourself reducing your current collateral position, and then you reset the compounding. You're constantly interrupting the growth of your money. Now, why did I behave this way? Because this is what my father taught me to do, and this is what his father taught him to do. It's just what we did. It's what we thought was best. And so if this line also represents zero dollars, what did I do? I would save up money. I had to defer the car initially until I had enough money to save up. Once I had enough money, I would make the purchase and I would drain that account down to zero. And as I'm driving the new car, I would have to start saving up future car payments basically to myself until I'd have enough money to make the purchase again. And this is the part that really frustrated me when I learned this because there is no difference whether you pay cash or you're giving up interest you could have earned or you pay interest to someone else's banking organization Either way, the money's always transferred away from you and you end up with none of it at the end of your lifetime. Now, it doesn't have to be this way, but it currently is because of the way we think. And here at Factum, we want to encourage you and empower you to learn how to think. Banking is about keeping the control of your capital or your money. Okay, it's a very different conversation than, than investing. Okay, we're talking about banking. So when you decide to become your own private banker or utilize infinite banking, this is someone that saves money and then uses OPM, other people's money. So you're going to save up and you're going to earn compounding interest, a much higher savings rate than any bank is going to pay you. And then you're going to collateralize your purchases, meaning as you start to change your savings environment and you move it away from the big banks and you start moving it where they keep their savings, which is in whole life insurance, as the cash inside your insurance policies build up, you can call up the insurance carrier and access a loan using your money as collateral without ever interrupting the compounding of your money. So it looks like this. If this line represents zero dollars, as you start saving into your infinite banking policy, you're actually going to see it increase in value every month because it's guaranteed to grow, the, making it the perfect foundational vehicle to set as your foundation for wealth building. Now, as you accumulate some cash in there, you're going to call up the insurance company and let's say take a loan for a vehicle and you're going to make that, those payments back to 
the insurance carrier and your banking system. But the difference is this time, you never gave up any of your own cash, so you're always earning interest on all of your cash inside the policy. Now, if you give this some time and consistency, this becomes a very powerful wealth building tool for you because you're constantly using all of the money that you've been saving. It's always working for you 24 seven in the background. It's the same thing you're already doing. We just changed the environment and changed the way we thought and your results will be drastically different.